Despite its fast-paced lifestyle and built-up facade, Singapore is home to a diverse array of wild creatures. Many of them are unique to Singapore. It is our responsibility to be good stewards of nature and even better neighbours to these animals as we aspire to become a city in nature. You know that monkey you keep bumping into at Bukit Timah Reserve? Well, they're actually known as the long-tailed macaque and they are the most common native species in Singapore. However, due to the rapid urbanisation of their habitat, they're increasingly spotted hanging around residential and industrial areas. We see them everywhere in Singapore, so why not get to know our macaque neighbours just a little bit better? Macaques are omnivores. They eat insects, fruits and even leaves. They help with seed dispersal, which helps maintain a healthy forest ecosystem. Macaques are very expressive, but very often misunderstood. Learning how they communicate will help you understand our macaque neighbours better. Let me teach you what I know. If their eyes are closed with an open mouth, then they're just yawning. They feel sleepy. If they give what looks like a grin, they're actually feeling fearful or anxious. If they're burying their teeth with their eyes wide open, it means they feel threatened and are ready to attack. They are warning you to stay away. So what do you do when you encounter a smiling macaw neighbour? Keep 2-3 to three metres away and observe from afar. Don't show your teeth as this is a sign of aggression. Just let the macaw do its thing. They're generally a peaceful animal. It's illegal to feed wildlife, so even if a macaw stares at you with its cute beady eyes, don't give in. It has enough food in the forest and it's just being greedy. Oh no! Is that a macaw in my house? Remain calm and stop what you're doing. Look for the nearest exit and guide them towards it by hitting the ground with a stick or using a strong jet of water. But please, do not hit them. Or you can move to a safe place and wait for them to leave. To prevent any unexpected visits, install mesh or grill on your doors and windows. Keep food out of sight and your surroundings litter-free. And if you have any fruit trees on the property, harvest the fruits regularly. We hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about macaques and how to become a better neighbour to them. If you encounter any cheeky monkeys or if you see a macaque with a serious injury, please contact the Acres Rescue Hotline. Remember, wildlife are not pests. Visit acres.org.sg for more information.